Hi, my name is Martin and today I'm going to show you some ways to remove programs from Windows 10. Sooner or later we all come across the fact that we need to get rid of some programs that we no longer need. There are several ways to do this and in this video I will go over all these methods step by step. It's important to remember to avoid making mistakes when uninstalling programs and to remove unnecessary software from time to time. Otherwise the system gets junked and over time the consequences will get worse and lags will get tougher. We'll figure out how to completely uninstall a program so that nothing is left from it. First we'll take a look at newbie options and then a more efficient way for advanced users with even removing Windows 10 built-in apps. We'll go over options with the control panel, window settings, command line, registry and some third-party uninstallers. And you can choose the option that fits you the most. Click the like button and let's get started. You probably know that programs need to be uninstalled correctly. It's not really a good idea to just pick a folder and delete it. This is because the app is installed on your computer and creates not only a folder with the program in a specified location, but also creates folders and files in special Windows sections, which store various temporary files, saves, settings and so on. They all make entries in Windows registry. First, let's look at the easiest way using the Windows operating system itself following some simple steps. Option 1. Settings This method of removal is suitable for all Windows operating systems since Windows 7. Go through Start to Settings, Find Apps and here we see a list of programs. Find the program you don't need, click on it, then click Uninstall, Confirm. The program to uninstall the application you have chosen will start. Then it will be removed from your computer. but the program will not be removed completely. There is still something left in the folders and in the registry. Still, this option is much better than just deleting the program folder. So if you are a beginner, remember that it is important to use correct uninstallation programs through the section in settings. Option 2. Control panel. In the search box, type control panel and select it from the list of results. Select programs, then programs and features. Find the program you don't need, right click and click uninstall. Then the standard uninstall happens. CMD This method is for advanced users and requires a deep knowledge of how Windows works. CMD is a command line interpreter that can be used extensively to fix various system problems including uninstalling software. Type CMD in the search box and select the appropriate item from the list of results. Then right click on the CMD icon and select the run as administrator option. Now run the command line utility called WMIC and press enter. You will use it to remove the program you don't need. You should get a line like this. Next you need to see what programs are installed and what programs this utility sees in the system. Then enter the following text in the active line, product where name which will bring up the command to uninstall the program. Enter the name of the program you want to uninstall one by one that is listed above. You can copy it and add the call uninstall command then press enter. Type Y to confirm and press enter to start the uninstall process. As you can see the shortcut of the program you wanted to uninstall is gone. The program is uninstalled. Option 4. Registry. You can also use the registry to remove applications in Windows. Type regedit or registry editor in the Windows search box. Select an item from the list, then right click on the registry editor icon and select the run as administrator option. Locate this registry section. In this section, select the folder of the application to uninstall. Here's the trick. Sometimes the list does not contain the name of the application, but the name of the developer company or a set of symbols. To find the application, click on the symbol folder and in the display name registry parameter you see the application name itself. Next, double click the registry parameter uninstall string and copy the values. Then close the registry editor, right click in the start menu and click run. Paste the copied values into the text box of the pop-up window and click OK. And follow the removal instructions. 
But even after deleting the application, there are still traces of it in the registry, because cluttering the registry can have a negative impact on the performance of the operating system itself. So they need to be removed. And so what do you need to do? Press the key combination Win plus R on your keyboard to open the run window and enter the command regedit and press OK. Or you can type this query in Windows search and run registry editor. On the left you will see several folders you are interested in hkey current user and hkey local machine. In hkey current user you click on the arrow on the left and find the folder software. Open this folder, now you have a big list to work with, look through each item and delete the ones you don't want. But you should know exactly what programs you have removed and actually their traces need to be removed from the registry. A very important point, before making any changes to the registry, you need to make a backup copy. To do this, highlight the registry branch you are going to edit. In this case, it is the software folder where the software records are stored. Go to the menu File, choose Export, specify the name of the file, anything for example QWERTY, you choose where to save it. Let's go to Desktop and press Save. The file appears on the desktop. To import it into the registry, just double click on it with the left mouse button and agree to make changes. Find the unnecessary folder, click the right mouse button and select the Delete option and press OK. Now perform the same actions in the folder HKey Local Machine. If you doubt something, do not know what this program is, it is better to not touch it. Only remove the items you are sure about. Option 5. PowerShell. Now let's move on to how to remove Windows Updead applications using the PowerShell utility. Let's understand how to remove the standard programs and applications that are built in into Windows. You can do this with basic tools, it's done through PowerShell. Type Windows PowerShell into the search box and select it from the list of results. Right click the icon and select Run as Administrator, or find same option in the right menu. Use the command Get App Package and press Enter. This command will show you a list of all of the standard applications that are currently installed on your computer. But for easy reading of the list, you can separate the lines by parameters such as name and package full name. To do this, type get app package, select name, package full name and press enter. Once you have examined the list of installed programs and applications, move on to uninstalling them. The command looks like this, get app x package, the name of the program you want to remove, for example, xbox app, remove app x package. If you want to remove an application for all users, add the all users parameter, for example, get app x package, all users, xbox app, remove app x package, press enter. As you can see, the built-in application is removed. Well, if you want to remove all the built-in applications, run the following comment, get app x package, remove app x package and press enter. If suddenly you are not satisfied with the result of uninstalling these programs and you want to return anything as it was, for this case there is a comment like this. It is very likely that all the possible errors will be thrown in the process, but this will not affect the deletion or recovery. See, applications are restored. Write a comment how else you can remove unnecessary software with standard Windows programs. And we are moving to the uninstallers. The best and the most reliable approach is to use uninstallation software, special third-party programs. Let's take a look at some very popular ones and free uninstallers for Windows. With their help, you will be able to completely remove any programs from your computer. Also, some utilities have the additional features such as monitoring new installation, uninstalling built-in applications and system cleanup features and so on. Revo Uninstaller Revo Uninstaller is one of the most popular programs and it's counted among the best tools for uninstalling programs in Windows. After you start Revo Uninstaller, in the main item Uninstaller, you will see a list of all installed programs that you can uninstall. There is a separate Windows Apps tab for uninstalling built-in applications. 
To uninstall a program you don't need, find it in the list, right-click and press Uninstall in the pop-up windows or press Uninstall in the top menu. In the next step I will show you all the remaining folders and files with the programs mentioning that were left after uninstalling it. Press Select All and press Delete again, confirm to finish the uninstall process. After all these actions, the program is removed and also all its traces as registry files that are left after installations are deleted. The main features Simple and intuitive interface, unexperienced users will have no trouble understanding the functionality. Thorough removal of unnecessary things. Standard and portable versions. Four modes, built-in, advanced, safe, medium. Built-in auto run manager. A convenient demonstration of programs launched simultaneously with Windows with the ability to enable and disable them. Easy removal of components such as temporary files of browsers, Microsoft Office and so on. Many useful tools, system restore, network information, disk defragmentation, Windows Security Center, system information, on-screen keyboard and so on. CCleaner free. Let's deal with another very 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 popular cleanup and removal tool. This program is CCleaner free. With the help of this program, you can clean your computer from unnecessary files as well as optimize your operating system. First of all, this is not a removal software, but it is effective for cleaning outdated files, cookies, disabling unnecessary auto-loading programs, fixing the registry and much more. But in this video, we will be looking exactly at how it removes programs. And so, to remove software with CCleaner Free, go to Tools. As you can see, all the programs installed on your computer are loaded. The first tab Uninstall, here you can remove both classic applications and embedded ones. Select the program you don't want, left click on it and then in the right top corner, click on the Uninstall button. Pay attention, do not press the Delete button, it will only remove the program entry from the list, not the program itself. After starting the uninstaller, follow its prompts. Thus, the program is removed from your computer. The main features are Cleaning temporary and potential unwanted files Management of system restore points on your computer Auto run programs manager With it, you will be able to speed up your OS loading speed Clean OS history log Clean registry uninstall programs Integrate into the context menu of the recycle bin a detailed demonstration of results after system analysis and more than 40 file languages. Geek Uninstaller Free Geek Uninstaller Free is a small, free utility to quickly and efficiently remove unwanted programs on your computer. Geek Uninstaller Free does not have a much functionality as those mentioned above, but it will be enough for removing unnecessary software. This utility does not require installation on your computer, as it is a single file and it will be useful for those who don't want third-party software on their computer. Uninstall unwanted software. Open Geek Uninstaller Free, select the program you are going to uninstall, right-click on it and select Action in the top menu. Then in the pop-up window, click Uninstall. The program's built-in uninstaller will launch and the usual uninstallation will take place. When the process is complete, Geek Uninstaller Free will start scanning the system for remaining files, folders, registry items. After that the scan results will be shown, click Finish, all the program is removed from your computer completely without leaving any traces. The main features Makes a complete and fast scan and removes residual programs. Simple and handy functionality Portability One small XZ works natively for 32 and 64 bit windows. And force removal to remove annoying or damaged programs. IUBIT Uninstaller 11.3 is another program removal utility. It is a very simple tool that combines a fast uninstaller and a registry cleaner. What makes this utility stand out is that it is integrated into Windows Explorer and appears in the right click context menu. This saves you time and effort. After launching the utility, you find yourself in the Programs tab and the All Programs sub-item, where all the applications installed on your computer are displayed. There is a search you can filter by name, size and date. Supports mass or batch deletion. To remove a single item, 
you click on the trash can icon. You can also uninstall several programs at once by ticking the checkboxes in front of them and by clicking on the uninstall button. Immediately displays the number of items and their size. So choose an application you don't need. Check it, click on uninstall or the trash can icon. In the window that appears, the utility will offer you create a restore point before uninstalling and automatically delete all residual files. Check the boxes. Then click on install. As you see, a restore point is created. Wait a while, then the standard uninstall happens. Click OK. That's it. The uninstall process is complete. The main features are lightweight utility and undemanding to computer resources. Quick removal of unwanted files and folders. Search and uninstall toolbars and browser extensions. In-depth system scan for unwanted folders, files and programs. Easy navigation and the ability to start operations in a few clicks. One click batch deletion available. A powerful deletion function which provides all conditions for removing programs completely. And force deletion feature that helps you clean up any leftovers from the program. So leave a comment what do you think is the best or what utilities would you use to remove programs. Testing. I also did a test of all these uninstallers using Avast Free Antivirus as an example. It is a voluminous application that creates many files, folders and registry keys for its work. In addition, it uses special mechanisms to protect its integrity to prevent unauthorized access by malicious files. I use the install monitor utility to monitor the rest of the test program files. The test scenario for all uninstallers was the same. Install and run the uninstaller, then I installed a vast antivirus into the system and saved a list of all its files, folders and registry keys using install monitor. Then we uninstalled the antivirus files remaining in the system using the standard uninstaller tools and performed a control measurement of the remaining antivirus files in the system. Now some of the points that became apparent during the test. IOBit showed good results, but they could be better because not all its tools are available in the free version. At the same time, it turned out to be the most technological of the tested uninstallers. It has a tracking mode for new installations and it is the only one which continues to search for and remove traces of the program even after a forced reboot. CCleaner is first and foremost a PC optimizer, which affects the peculiarities of its usage. On one hand, it has no installation monitoring and no automatic program trace search. But on the other hand, if you use its tools after uninstalling, it can be even more efficient than other uninstallers. In the case of a fast uninstall, it was the only one that detected a large group of files remaining in the system folder. As for Geek Uninstaller, it's worth noting its weakness in finding traces of the program that it leaves in the registry. Vivo Uninstaller offers the most flexibility in customizing the process of searching for program traces. Searching for files and registry keys are two separate processes with three levels of scanning intensity. I've summarized the overall test results in the table. Basically, all the uninstallers showed good results as they removed 98% of Avast traces. But if we rank them in order of effectiveness, Revo would be the first, followed by IOBit, then CCleaner, and Geek Uninstaller. The results. To sum up, these are the main options for removing programs on Windows 10 and a few third-party ones. As you can see, there are quite a few, but at the same time, most are simple and any user will be able to deal with them. There are some for more advanced users also. But remember, if you don't know what this program is or if you have any doubts about something, it's better not to touch it. Uninstall only those items and programs that you are sure about. I hope this video was helpful to you. That's all for today and subscribe and like it. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, I'll try to answer all of them. Thanks for watching, bye!